This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by GoToMeeting, online meetings made easy. Get a free trial at GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and enter the promo code TURKS. There's a little old couple, mid married 25 years, they live a little north of Sacramento in California. Uh, one's a doctor, Dr. Mary and Molly Fry, the other one's a civil attorney, Dale Schaefer. Um, they, they're both sick. Uh, Dr. Uh, Fry uh, had uh, chemotherapy and she had many complications from chemotherapy. Uh, and Schaefer suffers from hemophilia and failed back syndrome. I don't know what that is, but he suffers from it. And I don't really, I don't care how, like, what am I going to do? Judge how bad her chemotherapy was, how bad his back is? They uh, have to take medicinal cannabis. Now, the thing is, they've cleared it with local authorities. In fact, they grow it themselves, right? And they have, uh, in 2001, they were raided, of course. And 34 plants were confiscated. Now, that's well below the 99 uh, plant limits set uh, by local ordinances. And as I said, they checked. They asked uh, numerous times the state attorney general, the El Dorado County Sheriff's uh, Detective Smith McNulty and Robert Ashworth. They got sign off on all this. Everybody's on board. They're sick. They're growing the uh, pot. They're taking the pot, right? Of course, the feds raid them and they say, aha, but you didn't know there's a loophole that in the federal law that if you grow more than 100 plants within a five-year period, we can still bust you. And in fact, that has a mandatory five-year sentence. Now, they've been fighting this for years and years and years. And then, of course, the feds come in and they say, oh, didn't you distribute this to other people that were sick? Yeah. Yeah, and that's totally legal in California. You can. Didn't you charge them? No, we didn't charge them. The guys who were doing the deliveries would charge $10 for the delivery. $10. Okay. They had to deliver it somehow, right? Yeah, there was money involved. I mean, look, these guys go on a rampage. And, you know, this was started under Bush, con unfortunately continued under Obama. And the machine grinds on no matter how painfully stupid it is. By the way, the National Cancer Institute just came out and said, you know what? Cannabis does have medicinal purposes. It does help with a myriad of things, including nausea uh, and, and uh, pain. And by the way, it even has an anti-tumor effect, which I didn't even know about. Now, that's a part of the federal government. That could have huge ramifications because then they might not be able to classify uh, marijuana as a... As a first order drug it might have to be a uh, third order in which case it would that would have a tremendous amount of ramifications for cases like this for um, medical dispensaries that the federal government is at this point theoretically no longer going after etc but none of that can save this couple because they were brought up on charges earlier and that has finally come to fruition and so what is happening with this lovely old couple that we're trying to uh, treat their sickness five years in prison they are going to get sentenced on May 2nd, and they are going to start serving their sentence unless somehow they miraculously win an appeal between now and then. Uh, but they have already gone through a, a great uh, amount of the process, and they go to jail. This is our system, man. This is our government. Sending that lovely old couple to jail, where, by the way, then they will not be get treated for whatever ailments that they have in terms of through uh, certainly not through cannabis they won't not, not to say they won't be able to go to a hospital or anything like that but that's how painfully stupid our system is and by the way if you're a conservative we're going to waste taxpayer dollars putting those people in jail for five years that costs I, the last story we did i believe it costs north of thirty thousand dollars a year per person we're going to spend nearly seventy thousand dollars a year Five years, that's $350,000 because they grew a little pot and smoked it to treat their chemotherapy and their uh, hemophilia. This country's on the wrong track, man. <laughs> in, case of, in the case of, of the war on drugs and the war on marijuana, it's been on that track for nearly 75 years. You're going the wrong way. Turn around. It's not working. No president, no United States government will ever declare victory on the war on drugs because that is nonsensical. And there, how do you win the war on drugs? What, nobody does drugs anymore? As a country, we have to be, 
We have to stop being this painfully stupid, and in this case, painfully cruel. So Jake's been in New York. It really sucks because we have to have all of these meetings to pick out what kind of clips that we want for YouTube. And sometimes he's on this weird technology where every single move is like that because it cuts out. But what we started using is GoToMeeting. GoToMeeting is awesome. They have their technology figured out. We have meetings as if he's in the studio there with us. Get a free trial at GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and enter the promo code TURKS.